Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Capablanca and Mises that was played in Berlin in 1913. Capablanca had white pieces and he started with d4. Mises played knight to f6, knight to f3, c5, in style of Benoni, d5, d6, c4, and g6. b5. Benko Gambit. This is very popular nowadays. But in those days, chess players even haven't heard of this move. In our game we have g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, black castled kingside, bishop to e2. h3 is very popular nowadays, preventing black bishop from coming to g4. In our game we have bishop to e2, e6 attacking white center, Capablanca castled kingside, pawn takes pawn. And how to recapture? With c pawn or with e pawn? How would you recapture? C takes on d5 is more popular nowadays. Capablanca captured with e pawn. Knight to e8, targeting knight on c3. Black wants to double the pawns on white pawns on c file. Better move was rook to e8 placing rook on open file. In our game we have knight to e8, rook to e1, bishop to g4, and queen to b3 is possible if Capablanca didn't like to have doubled pawns on, on c file. Also queen is attacking pawn on b7. But Capablanca allowed black to capture knight. He played knight to g5. Bishop takes knight on c3. Pawn takes bishop. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. After these exchanges, who is better? White or black? What do you think? White has bad pawn structure. But this is not really a big problem. Black is missing dark square bishop and he will have a problem on dark squares. Additionally, white is in control of e-file. The game continued. Knight to g7. Knight to e4 targeting pawn on d6 and if, for example, knight to d7 then Knight takes pawn on d6. In the game, f6 was played. Bishop to f4, bishop and knight attacking pawn on d6. Knight to e8 defending. Bishop to h6 attacking rook. And now black considered. Rook to f7 and then the play. What is wrong with this move? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? Have you seen this? Knight to g5, attacking rook. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes on e8, check. Rook to f8, bishop takes rook, knight to d7, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, bishop takes on d6, and you get the picture. In the game you have knight to g7 and now rook from a to d1 and all white pieces are activated. Knight to a6, knight to d7 is losing pawn on d6. Rook lift, rook may be going to e3 or maybe to h3. f5, attacking knight but pawn is no longer controlling g5, so knight to g5. 
knight to c7, queen to e7, simple chess. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen, invading 7th rank, four king knights, knight from c to e8, rook takes pawn, comes to mind, Capablanca played rook to h3, targeting pawn on h7, now f4, making room for knight, bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, rook takes pawn, on h7 threat is rook takes knight, checkmate, knight to f5, rook takes pawn, on b7 comes to mind, but not to Capablanca's mind, because he is not after poor soldiers, he is after black monarch. So in this position, rook to e6 was played, targeting g6. Rook from f to e8, vacating f8 square for his majesty the king. But after Capablanca captured pawn on g6, Mises resigned in view of this continuation. Knight to g7, rook from h takes knight on g7, check, king to f8, rook to f7, check, mate. Very nice game, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.